playing example here, I'll use the Introduction and Dance by Barat. And I'm talking right now about dynamics and how we treat them on the euphonium. The euphonium is not a trombone. It should have a different character. Many people, however, in a solo like this, and I'll only play the first four bars, they'll see that forte and play something like this. That is more edge and more punch than I really want in this. It's a lento. It's not marked otherwise as far as the mood of it. But I, I look at this as a bold mood. I don't want to create a lot of attack. I want to have big full sounds without a big punch on the attack. I also don't want to let any more edge in that is necessary. Next I'll demonstrate the way you might approach a forte on euphonium. Still keeping a smooth sound overall. Not too much edge, but a good volume. Next, I'll imagine a scenario where the audience can't quite hear you, so I'm going to add a little more volume, but still try to maintain the same character. And lastly, I'm going to put even more volume into it. Perhaps I've got a full band now, or a full orchestra accompanying me, and I really have to pump it out in order for the audience to hear me prominently above the ensemble. I'm still trying not to go too far into edge, and I'm still trying to not create punchy attacks. So there you have a few very brief examples at four different volume levels. I hope you can find that helpful. Thanks for listening.